Hello, I'm David Gerard and this is Pivot to AI coming to you daily. Today, let's use a chatbot to totally not suggest data fraud. A few days ago, we talked about using machine learning AI to produce fake data, sorry, synthetic data in medical research. Run a machine learning model for your numbers and avoid dealing with pesky human subjects and ethics boards. The data is not real data, but you can get so many papers out of it. So synthetic data fans have been pushing this bad idea for a couple of decades. This was just based on machine learning ages ago. It didn't come from the AI bubble stuff, and it wasn't chatbots or anything. But what if, right? What if it was chatbots? Here's an amazing paper. A foundation model to predict and capture human cognition. The researchers proudly talk up their exciting new model called Centaur. They collected 160 psychological experiments and retrained Llama 3.1 on them. The researchers claim Centaur is so good that, quote, it also generalizes to previously unseen cover stories, structural task modifications, and entirely new domains, unquote. That is, they asked Centaur about some experiments they didn't train it on, and it got better answers than an untrained chatbot. They thought since they'd fooled themselves, that was enough. These authors seriously posit that a tweaked chatbot can simulate human psychology. What? And they can extrapolate from their simplified model. The paper ends with an example of, quote, model-guided scientific discovery, unquote. Their example is that Centaur does better at designing an experiment than DeepSeek R1 out the box. Now, they're not saying you should go out and fake experiments with data from Centaur. Perish the thought. They're just talking about how you might use Centaur for science, and then they tweet that, Quote, Centaur is a computational model that predicts and simulates human behavior for any experiment described in natural language. Unquote. They're just saying it, see? You or I might think that claiming a chatbot model simulates human psychology was obviously a stupid claim. So we have a response paper. Large language models do not simulate human psychology. This paper doesn't let the first guys get away with their weasel wording, and it also replies to the totally not calls to make up your data in the Centaur paper. Quote, Recently, some research has suggested that LLMs may even be able to simulate human psychology and can therefore replace human participants in psychological studies. We caution against this approach. Unquote. Even if you start by treating the chatbot like a person you're talking to and not a super autocomplete, it doesn't react consistently, it doesn't show human levels of variance, and being a chatbot, it hallucinates. So the second research team tested multiple chatbots, including Centaur, against 400 actual human subjects on a standard series of ethical questions. They took the test questions that Centaur got right in the original paper and subtly reworded them. Centaur's human fidelity regressed to about average. Quote, If inputs are reworded, we would need LLMs to still align with human responses. But they do not. Unquote. Their conclusions should be obvious, but it looks like they did have to say it out loud. Quote, LLMs should not be treated as consistent or reliable simulators of human psychology. Therefore, we recommend that psychologists should refrain from using LLMs as participants for psychological studies. Unquote. As we saw with synthetic data, some researchers will do anything not to deal with messy humans and ethics boards. They only want an excuse to <clears throat> synthesize their data. The Centaur paper was precisely that excuse, and the researchers cannot have not known. It was that excuse, in the context of the world they live and work in. 
I do not believe they did not realize this in 2025, especially as the first thing they reached for was everyone's favorite academic cheating tool, a chatbot. Thanks for tuning in to Puit to AI. If you like this episode, please forward it to just one researcher you know who really needs to get back on the straight and narrow. Please hit like and subscribe, leave a nice podcast review, and you can keep Pivot to AI videos coming daily by dropping just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. It really helps. If a YouTube membership is more convenient, hit join. You can get videos 10 to 20 minutes before they go live for everyone else. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now. Bye.